Hello guys and welcome to LabDigi YouTube channel where we love everything about digital art and web design. And in this Photoshop tutorial I would like to show you the easiest way I know about how to remove subject from background. So this is the typical task you, are, you want to do with your photos. And as you can see we have quite complex photo here uh, with many colors, many shadows and with um, lightings. This is a beautiful photo of lake and mountains in background. And for example, you would like to remove for some reason the woman here. So the result will look something like this. And I will show you how to do it. But at the end, I will also show you what modern AI is capable of and how easy it is to remove subject from background in, for example, Dolly, which is website and also AI tool for generating images and making all kinds of edits to them. So this is what we are going to do in this tutorial. Let's begin. I have already opened our image um, in new window, as you can see. And first thing I want to do is just to copy our background. So Ctrl C, Ctrl V, Command C, Command V on your Mac. And first thing we want to do is to select our subject. Well, you can do it manually using, for example, for example, Polygon Lesser tool, and just you know go like that and select our subject. Or, and that's the easiest way, and this is what we are going to do. We will just use in the properties on the left side select subject button and there is already some AI in the Photoshop going on and it will select our subject very precisely like that but this is not the result we are looking for we want there to be space between our subject and background so the easiest way to do is to go to select modify and expand and expand it for example by 20 pixels and now as you can see there is a space between our subject and our background and this is what we wanted and now the magic part very simple part comes click right button click on fill and you select content aware and click OK Ta -da! The biggest part is done, but now here comes the manual part, because as you can see, it uses a kind of surrounding to recreate the um, content inside of our selection, but it's not perfect, there are mistakes, so we will have to correct it manually, and we will use uh, clone stem for that. So just choose clone stamp, stamp and some uh, appropriate size of your brush. And the way you use this tool is very easy. On the computer just hold your Alt key, click somewhere where you want to, what is the source of your drawing. I think it's option key on your Mac. Click on your mouse and just draw. This is what we are going to use multiple of times to recreate a forest. Yeah, something like this I think is okay. Now let's make it a little bit bigger and this is not exactly correct uh, either so we might as well choose this part and connect it like that I think it's okay now now the part here also is not perfect and what we are going to do we are going to make our brush bigger too big uh, let's something like this yeah, and now we are just going to select parts from our right side, kind of cover it, 
and from our left side also and kind of try to merge or blend those a little bit together and this is the part where you can play with this uh, as long as you wish to create more natural outlook yeah for me and my purpose in this video this is good enough but the there is also a little part here uh, as you can see uh, she was standing here and there is a white thing here and we need to correct it also but make it small we will break some rules of perspective but people will not notice it uh, we will just mm. we can just copy it again but make it little smaller about no we need to go like this And now we can uh, make it a little bit blurry here just using blue tool a little bit so something like this maybe even here because it will look weird if it will be only at one part yeah yeah, basically, uh, it's up to you how much details you would like to have here and how much time you would like to spend correcting it. But uh, this is the basic result. And if it, it should be big like this, it's for most eyes unnoticeable. And this is the result we can accomplish in Adobe Photoshop. And again, I have chosen image that has, is more complex. In many cases, you don't have to make corrections because if you will work with balloons on blue sky, it will be just the perfect to use content aware filling and it will look exactly as it should from the first. But if, you, if it doesn't, you have to manually work with it and try to correct it as we did in this image this was the photoshop part in our video but we i will now show you how to do it uh, the same thing we have done with better results in dolly which is website that uh, allows you to generate ai images or make all kinds of edits with them and this is the future of Adobe Photoshop. All these things will be implemented in Adobe Photoshop in future. My probably somewhere here in neural filters, but we'll see about that. I will just show you what you can do in this um, tool. So you can register here for free and there are some credits you can have at the beginning without paying anything so i don't use this tool so much but i thought it will be interesting for you to see what you can do with this i have already 
basically uh, what I have done is that I have deleted our subject here for to prepare for this tool you know to show you what you can do with it but of course you can um, do it here manually you know but I just click here for it to wake wake up because we already have done the deletes and edits so and now let's just write like and let's click generate as you can see guys this is the result dolly has generated for us and it has done the same thing we have tried to do in adobe photoshop and well you can see there is a little word there because uh, ai generated images well it's not literal ai it's just very well uh, developed model or algorithm that has used billions of images to learn and it has used also commercial images with the labels and this looks like some kind of label from, from something you know but the result is very impressive I don't know which one is better let's look at this one uh, the water is very good uh, I only feel this part this part is a little bit unnatural and this part I feel is a little bit unnatural but the result is much better than what we have accomplished in Adobe Photoshop just using their generated functions tools um, even the water is better than what we have done manually of course we might work with it more and make it even better but this is very impressive and just downloading this and working with this more in Photoshop we would really perfect it you know so I believe this is the future for Adobe Photoshop there will be more and more and more AI tools that you can apply they are already there but it's still kind of beginning so tell me what you think about AI generated images or how what future will be for this I think it can be good tool for the graphic designers and artists to use I don't like tasks when I have to select subject manually you know I love when it when it's done with magic like this so I'm kind of excited for what future might look like so this is about it in this video we might again look what we have accomplished and I'm quite satisfied with it I think we can work more with this but that's up to you guys and I hope you, enjoy, you have enjoyed this video subscribe to my youtube channel for more tutorials in Adobe Photoshop and also Adobe Illustrator I will be doing more with Adobe Illustrator and see you soon